Yo! What is up, everybody? How's it going? How are you? Hope you're doing good. Uh, I found myself in one of those weird states again where I'm not feeling too great, but you know what? I'm starting to feel a little better because I'm doing this. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Do you ever think too much? <laughs> Is that, is that is that a problem for some people? You ever overthink? You ever think too much? You think of everything in the world and you're just kind of confused and you don't know what to do and you start to get a little crazy or something? I'm just kidding. I'm really not. But anyways, hey, let's talk about some art. So much like the last video that I posted, the Kitchen God one, this one is very similar. It's for the same class, my environment and uh, my environment and set design class and for this one, what we did was we uh, had to pick like an animated character from any universe. It could have been from any any show, just anything. And what we had to do was then create a mobile suite for them. A mobile suite meaning like kind of like a kind of like a moving house. And the the idea was um, my professor got the idea from Howl's Moving Castle, and then he wanted us to think of ways that we could maybe design a Howl's Moving Castle for someone... Uh, for, yeah, 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 for, like, another character, basically. So, y you know, just, like, so some people did, like, Camp Laszlo. They did, like, a roaming cabin. Um, some people did, like, uh, a Danny Phantom's moving plasma thing. I don't know. There, there's just so many ways and different characters that you can come up with ideas with. But the, the main focus was to come up with, like, a house that could be lived in but can also transport and move while still being livable. But, and, and here's the tricky part about this assignment was that it had to move in an unconventional way and it also couldn't be too animal-like or too, I guess just predictable. It just couldn't be like too generic, I guess. And that was mainly the big struggle on mine uh, cause they're, oh man, I don't know. It, I, I just kept coming up with like same versions or different versions of the same idea, but I really couldn't like, I, I couldn't think of a different way to move this thing. And I guess where I fell short was I guess the practicality. And by practicality, I mean like the believability and like, we, we were told to think about this very logistically and to think very like, how do I word it? You have to think very, um. You have to try and think that this could be a real thing, and how would this be a real thing in real life? So, for example, if it was like a floating uh, plasma shooting thing... By the way, we couldn't use rockets. No rockets of any kind were allowed, so it, it did have to be grounded in reality. It couldn't be magical or fantastical. It, it actually had to be like a moving structure similar to Hal's moving castle it's just a bunch of moving machinery and that's kind of the vibe that we had to fit for this project so as you can see uh the character that i picked is greg from over the garden wall uh i i really love over the garden wall i think it's a just such a beautiful animation uh, uh what is it called it's a beautiful short series is what i'm trying to say it's a really nice short series and um I've made it like this kind of tradition where I watch it with my family like once a year. It's not, it hasn't been out for too long and I've only done this like three times so far, but uh, yeah, I try to watch it every year like around Thanksgiving, Halloween time-ish. And uh, I recently started doing that with some friends. Well, I mean, it's not a tradition yet, but we've we've watched it in one sitting together and uh, I really enjoyed that. It, it's pretty cool. They enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it with friends. and. Yeah, it's a really, if you haven't seen Over the Garden Wall, I highly recommend it. It's super cool, super, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's really funny. It's really funny, cute, really nice story. I love it so much. And anyways, yeah, so I decided to do Greg for this project. And okay, if you haven't seen Over the Garden Wall, this is like a little bit of spoilers. So, you know. Maybe skip to like another part of the video. I'll, I'll let you know what part you can skip to. Okay, three, two, one, spoiler time. But um, where I got this main idea for the, the main idea for the fantastic mobile suite that I'm doing for Greg was uh, later in the show, it's revealed that his Halloween costume is an elephant, which is why he wears the, 
tea kettle on his head, and I thought that was really funny, really cool, and I thought I could incorporate that, so I thought, you know, maybe I could do like an elephant-like kind of structure or something. And that, that's how I, I started with this project. I thought like, oh, like maybe it walks on like all fours, but it's kind of like moving a little bit crab-like, I guess you could say, not necessarily like an elephant because I don't want it to be super slow. But um, yeah, so I kind of stuck with that design at first, but then my professor was saying that it was too predictable. It's like, you know, we've kind of, excuse me, <laughs> we kind of already know how an elephant walks. We know the walking pattern of an elephant. We know that it, it, it's just really predictable. And uh, I was told to make changes, which of course I completely understand. And then I thought um, one of the things about this uh, is this show is that it's kind of grounded and kind of set in like an antebellum kind of era, but kind of like a very like Southern Louisiana type of thing and uh there there's a episode where there's uh steamboats and stuff like that and i was just like oh well you know that's you know i can maybe incorporate that somehow so i thought maybe what if i put like wheels on the legs or maybe they aren't legs and maybe it just moves like a steamboat you know and i was like oh that could be kind of cool just like a you know moving little steamboat kind of thing and uh yeah and then <laughs> i then had that idea i showed it to my professor and he did think that it was a large improvement from you know moving the the legs and stuff like that however it also was very predictable you know we know how boats move we know how y you know we, we just know how boats move i don't know that was the <laughs> that was those were the notes i got back we know how boats move <laughs> and it's just like oh man okay that's true and I feel like maybe that idea isn't making a lot of sense. And basically, what, what I'm trying to say is like, so if you take a look at Howl's Moving Castle, it has like chicken legs. So like, it it has the appearance of a chicken, but it doesn't move like a chicken. It's, uh, it, it's got like this weight to it and it moves, it rocks back and forth as it's taking steps. And it's, I don't know, it's just the arbitrary movements of Howl's Moving Castle that we have to mimic in our own designs and 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 again like you know you could you could see me in the video right here like i'm, I'm struggling to come up with like different ideas I, i'm kind of just sticking to what i know and, and and partially and i feel bad for saying this I've, i feel like i've said this in a couple videos but i feel like you know it's it's just <laughs> that's just what you do when you're a student sometimes at least well okay maybe in my situation i i panicked a little bit and i was like Look, I got three other classes I got to take care of. I got to do an essay. I got to put out an animation. I got to, you know, come up with a bunch of key drawings. I have to write a story. And it's just like wheels, legs. I know how those move. I know I'm not supposed to make it move like this, but that's all I can think of right now. And I don't have any more time to dedicate to this. So we're just going to go with that. And unfortunately, that's kind of what I did. I kind of... Um, you know, went in that direction where I kept the legs, I kept the wheels, and I I just decided to go for, forward with that. Especially, and I didn't think about this too much, I did want to push myself farther than the last uh, project I showed, but um, it's because I knew that we were going to model this in 3D. And modeling in 3D, like I've said before, is just not my strong suit. I did have an easier time because I did break this down into like, you know, easier shapes but it was still pretty difficult for me to model and uh yeah it, it was something i did keep in mind but a little less um but but modeling was still like a factor about this and i was like okay i can't there there still was a, a part of me that was like i can't make this too overly detailed and actually actually now that i'm remembering this <coughs> excuse me um another thing that made this tricky was that so so this was our final project and actually, I have a bit of a funny story to tell you about this project too, but um, <laughs> this was our final. And the funny thing about this was, <laughs> not only did we have to model this like in 3D, we also had to animate this. So we had to animate, you know, our building walking, you know, and uh, man, I, 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 I've said it once, I'll say it again. I, I hate it so much. It's not my thing. I had to learn how to do like rigging and I had to do like um, 
all this other stuff that is so complicated and I didn't know how to make it move other than just like keyframing the positions. I actually, I don't even think I rigged it. I didn't. Actually, looking back, I didn't even make it move. I just turned it in like in its stagnant pose because I just, it was, it was too much for me to handle and I, I couldn't get it done. It, it genuinely is a lot of work and it's a lot of troubleshooting. It's a lot of, you know, it's just a lot of trying to figure out how to make not even how to make, just trying to figure out like what button inputs and what like settings are correct for your project and design. It, there's so much that goes into 3D stuff that I just, I, I, I can't deal with it sometimes. And yeah, yeah, I don't know. But and nevertheless, I still think I did okay with the assignment. Uh, the big part for me that I really enjoyed was the, um, uh, I, I really enjoyed the the drawing part, <laughs> feel guilty saying that, but I, I really did enjoy the drawing part this time around. It was a lot smoother. My workflow was a lot smoother than like the kitchen god assignment. Uh, I feel like I really was able to, you know, come up with like, well, not ideas, but I, I really enjoyed what I was drawing. I liked the look of it. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> god, I'm really burpy and coffee for some reason. But uh, no, I really, I really enjoyed it and um, yeah, I think I think I was off to a good start, but just finishing the project was just a killer for me. And um, uh, yeah, you know, I'm also debating whether or not I want to make this like a two part video because part of this will be me drawing and then the other half would be like, you know, me doing this in 3D, which by the way, I'm going to show you the UVs and stuff. You know what? Honestly, it's gonna be a long video. I, I feel like people really don't watch these because they're long and it's just me talking forever. But you know what? YOLO, I don't care. You know what? I'm gonna show you the whole thing. This is just gonna be one video. I could draw this out and make it like, you know, I could milk this and make it like a couple of videos, but I'm running out of time. <laughs> I don't know uh, when I'll start posting videos often again because school is coming up again, uh, which kind of, I don't want to say it sucks, but it's kind of scary. It's a little daunting. I'm kind of getting in the groove of doing this YouTube stuff, so I'm going to miss this a bit, but uh, a part of me is a little bit excited to get back to school. So, uh, yeah, and I, oh, and I can't wait to start recording for, you know, all the next videos that I'll put out. I think that'll be fun, but, um, yeah. Anyways, small, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> talking, um, small story time. So, you know, Sorry, I got really self-conscious. I, I thought I heard something behind me. I looked back and paused for a second. Anyways, story. So I was working on this project, right? Uh, I was getting into the groove of things. I was starting to finish it, you know, and a, a part of me was rushing a bit. And um, where I go to school, I have... I have an hour long commute to school. Yes, it's very painful. And I did it four times a week. So I would have to commute for basically, well, I commute to and from school and it's about a one hour drive, but two hours total in my day because I come back immediately after class is over, which is, you know, doing that four times a week. That's that's a good amount of hours. You know, that's that's at least eight hours of me driving in one week. And, you know, gas prices have not have not helped out at all with that drive. But anyways, um, yeah, so, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is so bad, this is so bad, if you're an art student, please keep up with your schedule, but, um, <laughs> so, basically, I was working, you know, it's finals time, um, I got two finals for this class, I got two finals for another class, my animation final is killing me, because it's a lot of drawing, it's a lot of, you know, keyframing and stuff like that, and, and, it was a, a voiceover assignment once again, so I had to... And it was a competition, too. So there was more stress on that, and I wanted to put all my focus on that. And a lot of the time for this final, this 3D project, it really escaped me. And I just... <laughs> I don't know what happened, but the final schedule came out. I had to go three separate days. None of my finals lined up back-to-back. -back. I still had to go three... Actually, no, four separate days for my finals. And, you know, the the thing about finals, if you're a student and you don't, you know, you don't have like college, if, if you don't understand college finals, the way it works is that 
you don't go on the same day as you usually have class, the professors typically pick, well, I don't want to say they pick a random day, but they pick a day where it won't conflict with any other person's final. And, you know, they, they, they pick a, a day that you're not used to. And then they also pick an hour before or an hour after your usual class time. And then you only have like a certain amount of hours to get your final done. Also, the final finals week takes place after classes are done. So you're kind of like in this weird relaxation point where you only have to go one more day, but you have like a week's worth of rest almost, more or less. Sometimes not really, but in most cases, that's what I find what usually happens. <laughs> and so, you know, you kind of have to write out your schedule because you're basically getting a new schedule. And I thought that I could mentally keep track of that. <laughs> and I discovered that I could not <laughs> because I, I made it to three out of four of my finals. Yes, that is correct. This final, the one for Greg's moving kettle or whatever I called it. Oh my God. It's so embarrassing. I, I thought that my, uh, I thought that my final was two hours before or no, two hours after than I thought it was supposed to start, but I read that wrong. And for some reason, I I thought it was at a completely different time. And you know what? And I was ready too. I got my final done. I had everything rendered. I wasn't able to animate it, but I had it in a presentable format. And <laughs> it's so awful. By the time I... I I, I, oh my god, I was literally getting ready, making sure I looked pretty for school and stuff like that, you know, I was trying to look cool for my last day and stuff, and get ready to present to class. I look at the time, and I, I don't know why, I just felt something was off, and I was like, no, I'll, I'll still make it, I, you know, and, and keep in mind, I have an hour drive, and I, for some reason, just had to look at the final schedule. I took a look, <laughs> and my final started. In 10 minutes and I was like oh <laughs> and that's when I realized I was like wow you know what even if I leave right at this moment I won't make it in time also another thing for y'all students if y'all are watching this professors get very strict with finals if you are late if you are actually they made it very clear if you are a minute late uh, they will not let you in they will not let you in, disturb, you know, other people's presentations, stuff like that, you know, it, it, which makes sense. But, you know, if you're late, just don't bother coming. That That's pretty much kind of like the college rule. Some professors are lenient. Not all professors are like that. But I have seen a fair amount of professors be like that. They'll be like, hey, yo, I'm locking the door. I'm locking the door. If you're late, if you're not on time, I'm locking that door and you won't be able to come in and present. And, you know, I wasn't... You should never speed, but even if I had, I would I would not have made it in time. There was absolutely no way. I emailed my professor. I'm set. I was like, I was like, yo, man, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it. Total screw up on my part. I'm so sorry. Like, I, I would really like to apologize. And uh, yeah, he never uh, he never got back to my email. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know what? It's whatever. I was really butthurt about it at the moment, but. I feel better about it now, you know, I don't really, I don't want to say I don't care, I feel really bad that that happened, but, you know, it's a mistake, and now I know, you know, I, I, <laughs> I need to plan better. I usually write things down on a planner, I don't know why I didn't write my final down on a planner, but, I don't know, I don't know, that was a mistake on my part, and I can own up to that. And yeah, unfortunately, that is the end result of Greg's moving kettle. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even bother checking my grade. I, I did check my final grade. Luckily, I did pass the class, fortunately. So that was cool, but I never got to present my work to the class, so no one really got to see Greg's moving kettle. But you know what? It's fine. I learned a lot from this project, and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was a struggle for sure, but... um, Yeah. Let me know what you think about it. I'd love to hear your, your input. You know, give me a critique. I wasn't able to get one. I take that back. I missed mine. 
Not that I wasn't able to get one, I missed mine. So if you would like to critique this, go ahead, feel free, write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Uh, but if not, yeah, thanks for checking out another video. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I don't want to get too sappy, but you know, for some reason, I just overthink so much, you know, like I, I'm in my mind, I'm like, man, I got to get back to school, but I, you know, I haven't practiced as much as I wanted to, you know, I, I school's coming up. I want to practice. I want to write. I want to. I recently got back into guitar, I want to play guitar, but then I also want to hang out with friends and I want to play board games. I want to design my own board game. And you know, it, it just goes on. And then I find like, you know, and then I have work sometimes and then I have all these things I have to do and I, I overthink and I end up sitting and doing nothing. Uh, and then I get really sad just about other things that, you know, cross my mind. Um, but if any of you ever feel that way, and this is kind of a message to myself too, I think, because I, I, I get super caught up in that way of thinking, but um, I hope you know that it gets better. It, it really feels like it doesn't sometimes. It gets, things get really stressful sometimes, but I, I hope you know it gets better. <laughs> that's, that's all I can really, that's the only conclusion that I can come to right now. But yeah, things will get better. And, uh, yeah, I really hope, uh, I really hope that you enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are, uh, go out, have fun, be safe, and, yeah, thanks again for tuning into another video. I really appreciate it. Alrighty, <laughs> y'all take care. I'll see you in the next one. Alright, laters. Keep moving know. forward. I'm moving, Manny, I'm moving. No! I'm gonna get first cowards. I'm doing Open! It. Open! <laughs> <laughs> How are there people already over there? God dang it. Oh. Uh, please. <laughs> please! <laughs> Let's go! Uh -huh. I'm go. I'm sorry. We're first. No, DJ! <laughs> <laughs> that, that didn't make a whole lot of sense right now. There you go. Oh, Let's go, dude. First, first place. place. Manny, I'm gonna hold on to all oh, this guy. Oh, oh. Ow. Manny, help, I'm getting dragged. Like, <laughs> Lord Moldy Butt? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jimmy's did get mom. dragged in the showers, huh? Yeah, yeah. like a real hero? Oh, no! <laughs> like a real hero. <laughs> get him! I'm dead. It's a lot Our squad's doing reality. this. Our squad, come on. Oh, no. Know. It's that alien. Oh, no. I think we're good. I think we're good, even if he dies. Yeah, Dude, no one else is getting points. Fun. He was literally the last one alive. True. Oh, oh, I'm just running no. over. No. no. It's okay, I dude, lost Jesse. it for us, boy. Oh, Jesse, he's Jesse's doing it. going gamer mode, dude. Oh, and dude, is Jesse's gonna get a nosebleed. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> we lost. Oh, it's a 1v1. Oh, the hot dog oh, belongs. Oh. Dude, oh. the hot dog won. <laughs> That's the one thing I said I didn't want to do. <laughs> the hot dog one. Oh no, he didn't! Imagine having an Instagram. Couldn't oh, be me, TJ. Right, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Oh. oh. No. If you don't stop moving, nothing can hit you, TJ. I it's mean, so facts, dude. Blood. Go, go, go. Ooh, oh. Ooh, oh ooh, no. Ooh. Not like this. Look at me. I haven't stopped moving at all, and I'm first. Ah, you okay, guys, fall. I'm bringing up the rear. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, I just freaking can, cleared that. You can Dude. grab onto ledges. Yes, <gasps> you can. Oh, yeah. oh, it's that French one. Oh, you Let's go. <laughs>
Let's go! Oh, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because I just saw you run into like the thing and like get knocked right into a hole. <laughs> the oh. speed of this man. The speed. Oh! Oh no! No! Oh. no, no, no. <laughs> uh, stop! Oh, no, stop! Four seconds. Three, two, one. Dive! Yeah. Oh, you did get it. Nice. No, please, please, please. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I believe. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> Your belief got me killed, man. <laughs> it's working, Jesse. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I killed Ezio. Yes. Dude. Oh, 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 oh. No, Ezio's gonna beat me. Oh my god, this guy's a tropical Not plant. Not if I can help it. Yes! <laughs> oh man, he go! I don't think we're. I don't think we did it. <laughs> no, dude. No, oh, Jesse's in. Uh, oh my god, I'm just getting spanked over here. Oh my god, I came back to the beginning. <laughs> I see what you're into, TJ. Oh, yeah, I gave myself away. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I do it all the time. Ah uh, no! Get out, dude! Jump! No! Oh! 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 Oh, oh no. my God! <laughs> right under my <gasps> like keys. Oh my God! That actually helped me. I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm doing it for us. I did it. <laughs>